be here, man. Mm -hmm. So much excitement for all of us. Can, can you tell us about Rio coming back? Absolutely. We're in the process of bringing back all our classic characters. We're turning around and uh, we're bringing back Batman. We're bringing back Superman. We're bringing back Clown and Star Trek. Stuff that kids that play with during the 70s and early 80s. We're going to bring it back Fonzie and the Dukes of Fonzie and the Chips across the entire movie. Clown and Apes as well. We're just excited to bring all these, all these brand back that the kids play with. It's a current, you know, typically with our stuff, there's all these brands are vital today. Yeah. It's not like, oh, by the way, we did Superman, and no one okay. knows about Superman anymore. They carry through from generation to generation. We were fortunate enough to be the first to do all these characters during the 70s. Yeah, so I know you had a computer from your right? When you first made it, how did you feel to have a native word compared to that? Uh, surprised, excited, shocked, never thought I'd see myself as an action figure. I didn't dream it up, it was Marty's idea, thank you. And uh, it tied into uh, the action at the time. We added some things uh, along with the, the football action figure, some attire that was pretty uh, suited to the eras back then in the late 60s, 70s and all. And uh, I just tickled that Target has decided, Dan Marty, to come back with the action figure because there is a market for it. We love all these characters. Well, I'm a collector and I love, I love all the media back in the day. When can we expect them to come back up? We are launching literally in the next nine days on the first wave of target. Mm -hmm. And then there's three there's two separate weeks after. One in September and one in October. So that is coming off to me. And Joe's gonna be separate away from all that. We're doing a special target.com play with him, a special six field position. So all that stuff is gonna be ready for fall and Christmas edition. Okay. So for thank you. What is your favorite that you could name? It's tough. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's so many of them. But I would get, I gotta go back to my, my original was, was Batman. <laughs> uh, and I had the trouble to spend some time with William Shatner. So I love Kirk. Okay. And Spock. Uh, and then we could drop this Spider-Man because there's nobody like Peter Parker. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> So, besides yourself, what is your favorite? Boy, well, I echo what Marty had to say. I like them all. And now I have grandchildren that can't wait till I get home to talk to them about this. They like all of them, especially the boys. The girls, we got to get them, uh, we got to come up. Uh, we'll do no, no, we're coming up with Darren Foster. Uh, we're, we're coming up with Charlie's Angels. Okay. All the time, part of the process. Uh, so we can 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 we we understood that the markets changed in the last 40 years. We can come out with Wonder Woman. That's, that's, that's mm -hmm. what we That was my favorite, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah. 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 So, if you could make one green figure, what would it be? One character you've never made. That's kind of tough. You have to give me some time to think about, think about that. Because uh, okay. I'll, I'll give you an idea. Okay. Uh, Jimmy Hendrix. Great. And then in the 70s, he was a great guitar player. Everybody yeah. knew he was a great guitar He had a very short career because of his problem. Yeah. But what's happened between the 70s and now, he's become a huge icon as a great guitar player of all time. So, can act. He's been through Page, Jimmy Page, and Eric Clapton. They all say he was nobody like Hendrix. So we went back and we were launching in this movie of Jimmy Hendrix. Okay. okay. So that's some of the things that we're going back and looking at. What we didn't do, and Hendrix was the first one, 
Yeah. So I want to change topics real quick. On um, quarterback today. What quarterback would you think deserves a figure? Wow. Uh, just about all of them in a sense, you know. The job is so tough. Oh, yeah. And I've got nothing but admiration for the athletes today. And it's not just in football, but since I uh, am a football guy, uh, you know, I let Marty make that decision. I, I, I know we need a good quarterback on our team, you see. So, if I had to pick, I would take Peyton Manning. I'm a Denver fan. I think Peyton was amazing. That's my choice. Well, yeah, there's no doubt about that. It's one of a kind. I mean, he's a great player. Oh, yeah. Right. Uh, and there are great players today. I mean, Tom Brady up in the New England, but he's accomplished with his oh, game. Yeah. You can't, I mean, Drew Brees, uh, come on. Drew Brees is just an absolutely spectacular Lord Moon, a Hall of Fame. You, know? it's, it's just, you can go on and on. It's a very competitive uh, sport, and the guys that have uh, excelled, so to speak, uh, with the competition, uh, that's cool. I, I think uh, this one right here uh, is, is perfect. For the situation. Is it available? Yeah, it's a figure. Anyone who is this? It's the most difficult page in the last week. Like you said, a great call about me. But there's only one joke in it. Yeah. When I say that, you say that to you see a great sensitivity and you did all these other things. But he rose above just being a great call He was. I thought it was a good one. It was great. Yeah, it was absolutely, absolutely. And that's why we had to get it. So it's not just being a great athlete on the field, because there are a lot of great athletes on the field. But when you elevate yourself above that, which he has done, that's what we have to do. Well, guys, I appreciate your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you.